Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Europa Universe House for the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we were kind of just sitting by and trying to build up money, uh, basically by turning down the maintenance of our armies and everything, and uh, uh, building our treasury up, because we're trying to embrace manufactories. We're getting pretty close. We need about 700 more ducats, plus or minus. And we're getting along there. Now, we've been having some diplomatic issues with Mongolia. Um, they've been growing and expanding, which is fine. I mean, look at, Jap look at Japan. Japan's been busy. And um, as they've grown and gotten more and more powerful, they have begun thinking that they uh, are worth me giving them tribute, which is a big no. I am not becoming your tributary. So uh, the alliance has been strained for some time now, and it finally broke. Even though we've been trying to improve our relations and, and keep that alliance there, because it's been good having that entire area of the map basically secure. But, uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing anymore. Hopefully, things don't go hostile. Um, I mean, relations are pretty good. So, we'll just keep our diplomat there, improving relations. Hopefully, we don't have any conflicts. Though, if we do end up going to war with them, um, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You're trying to clean up this border a little bit. That, that would be not a bad thing. Uh, the other thing is, is Byz uh, Byzantium lost another chunk of their territory. They're also being attacked by Syria, so they're probably about to lose another chunk of their territory. So we now no longer have a border with Byzantium. We now have a border with the Nahavandids. And I've moved some armies down there just in case they decide to get... Um, or do something stupid. And, uh, so we'll see what happens there. We brought some armies home from the colony. Uh, from the Canadian colony. We still have a couple, uh, well, we have one army out there just to help out if things get bad there. And we still have our armies down here in Africa. Well, potentially we might be going to war with Tunis. We'll have to see. The, the big thing is to get the manufactories embraced and get our treasury sorted out before we do any more warring. So let's go ahead and pause it. Let's get the game moving. Uh, we've been teching up. Tech's good. Um, we're moving through our trade ideas here. Mongolia has canceled the right to military access they've been given. Okay. They would agree to a royal marriage. Do I not have a royal marriage with them? It may be... They're under a regency council. Trust. Why do they have trust issues? Uh, what type of... Are we giving them military access? Cancel... Cancel military access. Yeah, we were giving them military access. They're still giving us military access. Uh, let's see. Improve relations in England. I've been trying to see if we couldn't get an alliance here. Well, we can do an alliance. But that will give them too many diplomatic relations, which I don't personally care uh let's see building a spy network in there building a spy network in tunis um you know what let's stop the spy network in the nahavana deeds for the time being 
It was basically going to be there for me to be able to disrupt them a little bit. It's not that important. I need the diplomat right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and say... We're going to cancel your military access. Did they, like, change... They're Confucian. They're no longer Tangri. Unable supply production has been unusually good, giving us a boost in ship production. Good. That may also be part of the problem. They're no longer Tangri. Well. Uh, let's see. France is a potential problem. They really, really don't like us. Uh, let's see. Can I say let's 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 have an alliance? Yeah, let's have an alliance. Perfect. Catholic faith doesn't allow royal marriages. Okay. We do have royal marriages, right? We do have a uh, royal marriage with Kiev, but that's it. We do a royal marriage with Moldavia. Yeah, there we go. The Wallachian, Wallachian, Messalian faith does not allow royal marriages. Okay. Is there any other Tengri out there? Just out of curiosity, I think we're the only Tengri. You guys are Tengri. But that'll put us over four relations, right? So we have two vassals. And Kiev, which is an ally. Okay. We'll need to do some diplomatic ideas at some point so we can get some more diplomatic relations so that we can probably try to get another ally. Japan, what's what's your thoughts here? They would be willing to forge an alliance. Absolute rulership. All right, there we go. We get five more states. Gains income bonanza. All right, so we need some more states. Let's go ahead and see what our states are. Uh, let's see. Let's make you state income 0.07 or something that's not even worth it. Um, Point three seven, point three eight, point two four, point four. All right, let's let's go ahead and go you, 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 you. There we go. We're getting close to being able to embrace. Poland is at war with Kiev, and Poland does not appear to be doing very well. Uh, yeah, plus 56 for Kiev. Saxony might be an interesting target for absorption.
Yeah, I'm really thinking at this point we need more diplomatic relations. I need to get, build a larger network of alliances. England shouldn't be bad as an alliance. They are currently at war with Madhyas and Majafit. Maja... Majapahit. Which I don't even know where any of those are. The men of France has been discovering building a spy network. Uh, is there anything that our spy network can actually do? Oh no, that's Tunis. We're not building a spy network in France. Or no, was it a, a French diplomat that we discovered building a spy network in us? That would make sense. A request for military access from Byzantium. No. No. That looks like Byzantium is rapidly heading toward its ultimate demise. Which is semi-historical. Though it's lasted a lot longer than it did historically. Uh, let's see. Can we not yet embrace? Now we need over 5,000? Why? Why do we need over 5,000? Is it because of the states that we created? That would be the only thing that I could think of. Well, that's slightly annoying. Now I'm, I'm trying to counterbalance France, and now I gotta think about counterbalancing Mongolia, which is slightly. Oh, now we need a new advisor. I'll take a cheap one. That's fine. No military access. Formalized separation of powers. Giving the following effects prestige plus 0.5. Okay. Now we can embrace an institution. Do it! Goods produced modifier plus 10%. That gets us a lot closer to new tech. Good. A political marriage is as much a union as it is a contract of mutual support. The Crovatide family expects that the Empress will heed the advice of the Prince Consort and actively look after their and her interests. We gain a base tax for cost of 100 admin power. Yeah, that's fine. We'll spend the admin power. We can build province improvements. We can upgrade some of our forts. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Merchants have been lost at sea while trading in a coastal trade node, taking all his goods with him to the bottom of the sea. We lose a bunch of ducats. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're colonizing over here. Looks like they pretty much just started, so they haven't grown very large. And they'll become part of Bulgar Canada. Uh, we have a lot of... Actually, there, there might, this might not actually be any territory we can actually take. Let's see, we can go there, we can go there. Uh, we can't go into Nunavut. Alright. Empress Akul III is now a zealot. Missionary strength plus 1%. No military access. Thank you. Army has reached new level of professionalism. Regain manpower when disbanding. Nice. Lack of officers. In order to keep a sizable uh, professional army efficient and a sufficient number of trained officers are required to carry out the orders and will of the crown. The increased demand on quality leadership is not matched by the number of officers in our roles. Okay. Lose professionalism. Oh, we can lose the manpower. That's fine. We have a large pool of manpower. Mongolia, acceptance of Chinese. Our efforts integrated Chinese in the state that rules them have burned fruit in our... Okay, so they have accepted Chinese culture. Force them to change. Let's see. Force them to change their religion, changes liberty desire by plus 100%. Forcibly seize one of the provinces. Placate local rulers. Opinion of us, liberty desire is at zero percent. Oh, we can invest in technology. Uh, gain some new diplo tech. Well, it costs less than the idea, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take diplo tech, and that gets us some new ships. Yes, I thought it did. You guys can upgrade. There we go. You guys can upgrade. Let's see. Can you guys upgrade? No. Alright, then get back out there protecting trade. See, I was looking at what the subjects panel, right? Okay, so they have no liberty desire. Bulgar Canada has ten percent. Let's see, replace governor, press sailors, placate local rulers. I discovered an agent from the Nahavandits. Customize the name of your subject. Well, it's only 10%. Not that worried about it. Oh. We can grab a new military tech, which will get us better infantry. And military, military tech is plus 0.25. Cavalry shock. Improved flanking range. Go for it. 
I granted a seat in our parliament. Oh, I think someone mentioned that I hadn't set um, the cannons, the new version cannon. I did. Uh, well, I didn't do it on screen. I realized that I hadn't done it after, basically, as soon as I ended the recording. And I was like, oh, crap, I forgot to switch the cannons. So I hadn't had took care of that. So now we have new infantry. So there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and let's bring our army maintenance back up. Let our army get back up to speed. Ooh. Really? We may not be able to do that just yet. Okay, that's interesting. All right, we're going to have to improve the economy, which means we're going to have to build some stuff. All right. So. Trade. Trade Depot. Ooh. Riga? Yes. Let's get as many of those built as we can. All right. Because I'd like to be making more than two ducats a month with the army at full maintenance. All right. Efforts to develop... Atawa Piscot go on, but now some of the settlers have rejected their capital city and are making their own establishment. Uh, most more people means more taxes. Yes, base tax. All right, what's the next idea we have? Trade steering plus point two plus twenty five percent. Caravan power plus 25%. Okay. Those are nice, but we're really going after the actual merchants because we use them to steer some trade uh, coming out of the colony. Uh, let me see. The other things we can take a look at. We have. 26 additional land force limit, which means we can build an entirely new army. We also have naval force limits, so we can expand our navy. Alright. I think we want to do both those things. Gain 3 mercantilism. Yeah, do it. Uh, let's see. I should have probably read that. All right, let's train up a infantry regiment. The thing is, I don't think I have any bastions that can be replaced. These are what we have. Okay. So, we would probably want to upgrade... Upgrade our forts... Well, that one definitely. That one. You can purchase an ability. Yearly absolutism. Let me change cooldown. Maintenance on border with rival. Flexible rivalry. Who, in fact, are our rivals? Uh, 
Az, Umanids, France. I guess we could take that. Because we have France and we have a fort on the border with France. So if I take that. So basically it would be that this fort would then be free to maintain. Yeah, they can be fully maintained. It costs us nothing. All right. Marital bliss. His Majesty, the Prince Consort, is of course a constant companion and good advisor in his own right. However, apart from that role, is all he's also a representative for the crown. Very pleased to announce that his family is decided to show its support for the throne. May this union bring benefits to us both. Gain a skill three. We must avoid indebting ourselves to the family. Yeah, yeah, we'll avoid indebting ourselves. All right, so you. Build as much of this as we can. There we go. That's the whole army. France is sowing discontent. Yep, and Tunis is basically filled in all that open territory. That's unfortunate. I would like to would have liked to have grabbed it. But we still can. Who are you? You are France now. Mm. That's not great. Could I potentially seasonal rains have brought prosperity to the Gulf of Guinea, being neither too mild nor too severe? Sweet. Let's get a fort built there, shall we? Increase trade power. This increases trade power. Okay. What about marketplaces? I'm guessing it's still going to cost a silly amount of money to maintain the army. Uh, plus 16. That's not bad. That's not bad. Plus 11. That's not as good, but it's still acceptable. Let's get the army back up to speed. We're going to need a force to send into Tunisia if we're going to go to war with Tunisia. That's the Papal State. Interesting. Where is there a happy population of service? Not quite as happy as we first thought. Our troops need the practice. Eight peasant revolt. Increased free subjects. Morale of armies plus ten. Somebody calls modifier up. Who cares? We'll do that. Right, let's march you to the coast. Uh, 
is Tunis who we want to go to war with? To expand the Africa. Because either it's going to be Tunis, it's going to be France, which is just going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, or it's going to be Genoa. England would join them. Andalusia and the Papal State. So that would be a pain in the butt. Um, let's see. It would be a bigger pain in the butt than it's worth. Oh, England's going to back up Kiev or Tunis. Well, that's just lovely. Okay. We may need a different plan then. All right. Tunis, you know what? Stop building a spy network. I think I have other cast of spell I can use. Yeah, we can holy war against them, so we don't need the spy network. Alright. Looks like Kiev absorbed a large chunk of Poland. Genoa, Franconia, Montenegro, Kiev, Cleves. Kiev would join in a war that we would fight against Saxony. Okay. We're looking for painters and artists to try to adequately capture the glory of our empress. As it happens, a painter offered his services to us just this morning. We lose some ducats. We can't afford that. It gave us a stability point, though. Ah, uh, lose the prestige. That's unfortunate. Yeah, right now I'm just going to search around as uh, who would be the best, the best to attack. Ozd, Umanids, uh, Nasrids, perhaps? You guys have any annoying allies? Kerman. I don't even know who that is. Oh, that little guy? Huh. Ozd, Umanids. We could take a little bit of their border territory. Like, these four? That wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Okay. Alright, some of the local natives have been assimilated. Good. You know what? I not like moving these armies away from that particular area, but let's go ahead and march them down here. Sirahind is preparing to attack Mongolia in a war of aggression. Really? That's ambitious of you. Alright, so we have ten light ships. We can get 11 more ships. But I don't really want to stress the treasury too much, because... That does just increase trade power as well. Stock exchange. Where would we want to actually increase our trade power, by the way? We're extracting here. There 
is preparing, that Syria is preparing to attack Ethiopia. Actually, the North Sea Trade Node is probably where we would really want more power. And we own a chunk of that. We own a sizable chunk of that. Uh... Increase our trade power by plus 350. Let's go ahead and build it. All right. Okay, we have we have a plan here. Um, I do have a cast spell, do I not? Yes, I have a holy war against them. I think that's what we might do. Once the army's in position, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna launch a war on them, we're gonna just take some of their territory. I'm I'm also on the hunt for some ducats. And yeah, I think that should work. Mongolia is requesting military access. You know, we used to be friends. Kinda still are. No. I can't really afford the additional diplomatic relations right now. Our heir Aethon is now inspiring leader. Morale of armies plus 5%. Nice. Many reformed heretics in Tukola have fled across the border. We find a safe have haven in Notek. Allegedly, this was carried out with the tacit sanction of the government of Poland. Okay, we don't like Poland. We may need to do something about Poland. Poland. Albania would come to join Poland. We may just absorb them. After we deal with the Nazarenes. Alright, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. Because we're, we're a little over time. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll probably get this thing with the Nazarenes going. Then we may swing back and... And just go ahead and absorb the last remnants of Poland. If they're going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, then we'll just remove them. Oh, wait. We can invest in tech. We can grab naval professionalism. Grab it. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and end there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.